Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure application gateway with a web application firewall using the Azure portal. In the last video, we tried to deploy it using an ARM template. It failed because of the size of the VM that I mentioned was incorrect or was not supported uh, with that deployment. So in this video, we will sh we'll show you how to use the Azure portal to create an application gateway with a web application firewall or WAF policies. The rules include protection against attacks such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting attacks and session hijacks. After creating the application gateway, we will test it to make sure it's working correctly. With the Azure application gateway, we direct the application web traffic to specific resources by assigning listeners to ports, creating rules and adding resources to a backend pool. And for the sake of simplicity, this video uses a simple setup with a public front end IP, a basic listeners to host a single site on this application gateway. We'll also deploy two virtual machines used for the backend pool and a basic request routing rule. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. Let me go to my home screen and I'm going to click on create a resource. And I'm going to type application gateway, select it. I'm going to, I'm going to click on create, create. And I'm going to create a new resource group. My resource group A G. Application Gateway name, My App Gateway. I will create that in the region. Let's go with Central US Standard. So you see the option tier standard V2. I'm going to select the option of WAF V2. Right, so I'm going to go with enable auto scaling zero minimum instances. I'm going to go with two. I will not enter maximum. The firewall status would be enabled, firewall mode would be detection, availability zone would be none. Your HTTP2 would be disabled. Okay, and for Azure to communicate between the resources, we'll have to create one virtual network so I'm going to click on create new I have the virtual network in here I'm going to type in the name as my vnet subnet name would be the one that you see is default I'm going to rename it to my ag subnet all right so the application gateway subnet can contain only application gateways. No other resources are allowed. And the subnet name in this here I will enter my backend subnet. Like this. And the range would be 10, 0, 1, 0, slash 24. Okay. Next front end public IP. I will create a new public IP here. I will name it as my AG public IP here. As my AG public IP address backend. After I click on backend, I will click on add backend pool and I will enter my backend pool. Add backend pool without targets. Yes, add. 
and I click on next. In the configuration, I'll add a rule. Add a routing rule. My routing rule. Listener name. My listener. Listener front end IP, the one that I mentioned. Leave it to default. Click on add OK in the backend pool, my backend pool, HTTP setting. Click on add new setting. And name it my HTTP setting. T disable request timeout twenty. Leave it to default. Add very nice. Now when you add it, next create review create. Validation is passed. Click on create. Now it is creating your uh, application gateway with WAF v2 enabled onto it. Deployment is in progress. Let, let us go to, let me open up a new tab and uh, create virtual machines for the backend pool. I will do and select my directory. Create a resource 2016 data center. I will select my resource group, the one that I created. My resource group AG, VM name would be my VM. Central US, 16 data center, and then in the username and password. And click on next, networking, they are in my backend subnet. Under management, set it to disable boot diagnostics, advanced tags, review create, and click on create. All right. Now, when this is done, I'm going to add the VMs. But now let me quickly create a storage account and configure the diagnostics. So I will go to the portal. And I'll browse to my working directory. You don't have to do do this. You can directly, if we have a single directory, you will directly be switched to that one because I created multiple directories and that is why I have to switch to a working directory. So you go to the storage account. You click here, you click on, you select your... Uh, resource group the one that you created this one you select the storage account name you can my ag store one the 
the location would be Central US Standard I'm going to go with the other options as default. And data protection. I'm going to not enable soft delete. Review create. Create. So my storage account is also getting created. So as soon as this is done, I will go to my application gateway and configure the diagnostics. Until the time it is going, I am going to open up a new tab. And let me create... Let me create and link a web application firewall policy. So, what I'll do is, so all of the WAF customizations and settings are in a separate object called a WAF policy. Though I have deployed the application gateway with the WAF V2 enabled in it, but the policy must be associated with my application gateway. So, I'm going to click on create a resource here. And I will do WAF policy in here. I will do create. Create a WAF policy. And I will enter the option. So policy for application gateway not for the front door or my CDN right a resource group is this in which I have my application gateway policy name you can enter the policy name whatever you want my web policy Central US policy state is enabled. Now you see the policy settings. If you want to enable policy rules, it's your wish. You can go with the default one. These are your uh, managed rules. You uh, these are your custom rule. You can add a custom rule here. So these managed rules are Azure managed rules and are enabled by default. If you want to disable an individual rule within a rule group, you can expand the rules within that rule group. So let's say these are managed rules. Okay, so you can click on, you can click on here, you can expand this rule. Method is not allowed by policy. And then you can, let's say I want to disable this rule. So you can click on disable and this would be disabled. Now if you want to enable it, click on enable, this would be enabled. Right, so these are already created rules. So when you go on custom rules, you can add a custom rule here. So this will open up this. So let me, I can enter a custom rule here. Can do test rule one. I'm sorry, test rule one. You can assign a priority. Let me go with the default one. You can say match type string, match variables. Okay, go with rest. this query string and then you can say operation is operator contains transformation 
lower case then you can say match values block me then you can add a new condition to deny traffic and click on add so this is the custom rule that i've created you can create multiple custom rules now it says in the association tab now right now you click on add an association you want to add an application gateway okay so it says apply this click on add because the one that was created so if you would see the resource before i add it this had this so if you go here you review create And then you click on create so this will create a web policy and will associate it to my application gateway let it complete and then we'll see deployment is in progress Okay, it is completed. You go to rules and these are your policy settings. This is your policy setting that you created. These are your custom rules. The one that we created. This is the associated application gateway. You can, if you want to remove it, you, you can click on here and remove the association. Right. And now, if you don't want it, it, I advise it if you are doing it in lab, please go ahead and delete all your sources as soon as your lab is completed. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go here. This is my resource group. I don't want it now, so I'll click on delete resource group. I will copy paste the name. And I'll click on delete. So it will remove all my resources that I have created. Right. It is deleting the resource group. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.